look at this. Cool little image, right? And we have the latest attract mode. Let's go ahead and tab. Let's, uh, we have the, the hand right now. Let's go ahead and change that to the Robo Rocket. We're on Robo Spin, but let's go ahead and switch out the hand for a uh, Rocket. The other thing we need to do is delete So this is Ray's 128 gigabyte image with the latest version of RetroPie as of 1-4-2017. And everything that works on the stock image and more works on this image. There's has to be four, uh, your Famicom is working, your uh, Family Disk System, MSX, MSX2, PlayStation, your PSP minis, everything is working perfectly in a track mode. So let's go ahead and give this a, a test. Um, I guess we gotta start with, let's start with something fun. Oh, well, let's check out the menus too. And as you can see, we still have all the track mode working. So CPS1, a lot of people had issues with that running. So let's pick a game out of here. Maybe one that's a little more graphically intense. So the Punisher, press B. Final Burn Alpha 2012. One of my controllers is not configured. I'm pressing select to insert some coins. After this, press start. So as you can see, working just fine. Okay, we can jump out of that. Let's say Street Fighter 2 um, Hyper Edition. We got credits. We got full screen. No lag. Run really well. So before I die. Okay, and then CPS 2 and 3. So CPS 3, third strike, second impact. Again, no issues. Load dried up. Oh, did not want to do that. Third strike. Loading up. No issues. Working just fine. And then uh, CP2. All these work. Marvel, Marvel Superheroes vs. Street Fighter. Look at that. Perfect. Showtime. 
Works just fine. Marvel vs. Capcom. Look at that, working no problem whatsoever. So no issues there. Uh, do we do Marvel superheroes already? Marvel superheroes. Once it boots, I mean, you guys get the point at this point, right? So, not no issues. Okay? Alright, um, some other, let's go back to D for displays. Uh, MSX2, let's just load a game really quick. Fine, no issues. So, MSX2 works. Back to displays. Famicom disk image, disk system. We put the BIOS in the, I keep hitting buttons, sorry. We put the file, the BIOS file, and now it's working. No problem. And I can play tennis now. Whoops. I didn't know which player I was. Okay, so that game works just fine. Let's go ahead and go back to displays. D. Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Virtual Boy, we installed the emulator, that works fine. You know, Nintendo, just to show you, Contra, very classic game. Nintendo works. I mean, all this is the Super Nintendo works, so I guess the next one to test a little higher graphically would be Nintendo 64. It's me, Mario! Hello! So this game is working just fine, as you see. Not pixelated, no sound issues. Just fine. Let's go back to displays. Neo Geo is working. All the Sega games are working. PlayStation is also working. So, for example, if we want to do Grand Theft Auto, there you go. No problems. Controller works. Great. So, PlayStation still works. Let's go back to D. PSP Mini. Some people have been having issues with this. I mean, it works just fine. So here's the electronic arts version of Tetris. Okay, so as you see, no issues there. Okay, what else do we have? Okay, MAME and Final Burn Alpha. So I already showed you a bunch of Final Burn Alpha games. I think you guys get the point with that. Those are no issues. Now, MAME, some people saying MAME didn't work after the upgrade. And let's just show you Alien vs. Predator. So getting this gray screen, it does happen sometimes. That, that still does happen, yes, during the preview. But the actual games themselves, Just fine there.
Captain America and the Avengers. So I can only put a second player in here, but... Okay, as you can see, working just fine. So all the main games are now working. You have all the same settings here. Uh, I'd say we have a really good, solid image here. Over 15,000 games at your fingertips. Over 90% of them working perfectly. Some of the higher graphically games not working so well. When you go into displays, you, pre you press D, it goes into the main menu. When you go into any of these, it goes into the attract mode. You can go side to side to go to the next menu over. You can set up shortcuts, you can set up favorites, you can press tab, and you can change the controls. You can also change the looks by going into displays, and at the bottom you have a display menu. And you can change from robo spin back to the old school. Um, you have layout options like do you want the background art to be blue, retro, you can do a cabinet skin. Uh, this is the track mode that's kind of been the gold standard now for a little bit. And we now have a stable, upgraded Ray's image. Now let's go ahead and go into Emulation Station just to show you um, what, what Pi model I'm on. Alright, we're in RetroPi, RetroPi setup. And you can go ahead and see that we are on the latest version. We updated four days ago at the latest 4.1.8. Um, we have the latest attract mode, the latest RetroPie, and all of our packages have been updated. This is up to date, a great running image. You have everything on here. You can run it through emulation station. You can run it through attract mode. You got Sega. Nintendo, Virtual Boy, Atari, Link, Streamcast, Final Burn Alpha, Game Boy Advance, MAME, MSX. The only thing that doesn't show up on, a tra on the emulation station is the PSP Minis and the MSX2. You probably have to get that program to add on to emulation station, but it works for your, um, for your track mode. So there you have it, an updated attract mode with the latest RetroPie and all the games and all the emulators working great. Uh, there's just a few games like for MAME that are just a little bit too graphically intense that don't work, but all your Street Fighters work, your Capcom vs. Uh, Marvel, your, um, you name it, the games are working. The majority of the games are working, golfing, whatever. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time.